There's a whole lot of stuff buried in this one question that I wanted to get to. Yeah. So then what, what is the, if there's no torque acting on the skater, then, then why does the skater change angular momentum and rotate around the pole? So my, my claim now is that she doesn't change angular momentum. She had angular momentum the whole time. Her angle with respect to the pole was changing the whole time, so she had an angular velocity. She had a rotational inertia the whole time, so she had angular momentum the whole time as she was skating in a straight line, if we say angular momentum around this pivot point over here. You can even tell me the direction of her angular momentum. Into the board or out of the board, right hand rule. I'm hoping that you're saying if she's going this way, that the angle is changing like that. This angle is big at the beginning and then smaller and then smaller. In other words, right hand rule says into the page, into the uh, screen. On the other hand, if the pivot point were over here, right hand rule would say out of the screen. So I, what I, what I want to do is go back here and, and make the claim that since there's no net torque on her, there is no change in her angular momentum. So she had the same angular momentum before she grabbed the pole as after she grabbed the pole. So did she never have translational momentum? She has translational momentum before that she grabs the pole, and she has it afterwards. But afterwards, she's circling around, so it's changing all the time. Her momentum is constant until that force of the pole starts making it change. Starts changing her angular momentum, uh, sorry, her momentum so that she's circling around this thing. So her mo circling around something means your momentum direction is changing all the time. Yeah? So how would this problem be if she like If there was friction in the say, friction in the pole that she grabbed, then after she grabbed that, you probably know that she would, she would start circling, but she would slow down and eventually stop. Torque, there's a, there's a question coming up in about 10 minutes that says torque is not from slowing down. Torque causes a change in the angular momentum. If she grabs this pole and, start, and her angular momentum is upward, even before she grabbed the pole it was upward, but if she's grabbing the pole with an upward angular momentum and it has friction in it so she slows down, then her upward angular momentum vector is going to get shorter and shorter and shorter, which means the change in angular momentum is downward, so that's the direction of the torque. Up here, yeah. Did you say that her angular momentum when she's traveling in a straight line is not changing? Angular momentum, yes. Her angular momentum when she's traveling in a straight line at constant momentum, her angular momentum about whatever pivot point you take is not changing. The, the, the rate of change in theta is changing when she's going in a straight line, right? That's right. Omega is changing, but so is I changing. And I don't want to work it all out, but they exactly cancel each other, so the actual angular momentum is constant. I is changing because she's her R vector, the distance from, from the pivot point is changing. So her, her, so her rotational inertia is changing, and it gets a little complicated, which, why, which is why I try to take the route around that complication. I tried to get around calculations by saying, well, there's no net torque on her, so there can't be a change in angular momentum. Yeah? If she, she was, say, like spinning around, like over around herself and then she grabs the pole, would you say she has two angular momentum then? Or if she, you mean if she was spinning and while spinning she grabbed? I, I, would, I would still say if there's no torque on her, then whatever total angular momentum she had at the beginning, she has the same at the end. So last thing before I leave this, um, you hear in astronomy, you, you hear people talk about stars and planets and moons and everything is rotating. Everything has angular momentum. Everything is spinning. Everything is rotating around things. There's angular momentum all over the place. 
where did that angular momentum come from? The way all of these things formed is by stuff floating through the air and, and uh, sticking to each other. A collision between two chunks that stick together. What happens when they collide and stick together? Total momentum is conserved. So is angular momentum. You might say if they were going in a straight line like this, if you wanted to say that there was no angular momentum when they were going in a straight line, you would have to uh, answer the question as to why after they stick together, you can probably guess how they're going to be rotating. This top piece is going to stick to that, and this whole thing is going to be rotating clockwise after they stick together. It's going to have angular momentum after they stick together, even though there were no torques, no interactions with the outside world of any kind, and the reason that's true is that it, they had angular momentum to start with. If I take this point in the center, and I think of the angular momentum of those two, they both have angular momentum pointing about this point right here, pointing into the page or into the, the screen. And so in the end, after they stick together, they still have angular momentum, but now there's something that's spinning. The reason why everything is spinning is because everything had angular momentum to start with, even though the peat chunks weren't necessarily all spinning at the beginning, by the time they clunked together uh, and, and uh, uh, congealed into planets and stuff, they were spinning. Any other, any, any more questions about I really want you to think of these two issues as separate issues. To be thought of and discussed separately and then put together as necessary. Student sits on a stool that is free to rotate without friction. At some point I'm going to ask for a volunteer. Um, Student is holding axle of a wheel that's rotating. Volunteer will have axle of wheel uh, like that, sitting on this stool. The stool is, is fairly, rotates fairly easily. It's not like there's no friction, but there's not very much. Angular velocity vector of the wheel this thing right here points straight up. Student and the stool are not rotating. What's the direction of the total angular momentum wheel plus student plus stool? 